Alright, so hey guys, so welcome to another Warframe video, and today I want to talk a little bit about a funky little setup that I put together, and it's using our newest glaive, the Pathocyst. Now the idea behind this setup, which I decided to call the Master of Maggots, is to spawn all the maggots. So we're of course gonna run Niders who can spawn maggots with this ultimate, we're gonna fight with the Pathocyst, which spawn maggots either mid-flight or when it's hitting an enemy, and we're also gonna use a Helmet Charger with the Strain Set, which periodically makes it spawn maggots as well. Now sadly, there is no interaction going on between them, there are basically three different types types of maggots, so neither the maggots from Nidus's ultimate or from the Pathocyst will affect the strain mod set, which, if you have the right mod, can be used to gain critical multiplier on your melee weapon. But it's still really cool because once you get going, the maggots are just everywhere. Now the way to get the Pathesis Glaive is very straightforward, you simply have to do the invasions that pop up as part of Nightwave Season 2 and once you've finished the invasion three times you will get a Zealot Key which you then use on the Assassination Derelict Chip that's always up. There's gonna be one random one and then the Assassination one. This is a boss fight with a Zeloid Prelate, a very polite boss that drops all three of the parts you're gonna need for the Glaive. Now the Pathesis requires you to be at least Mastery Rank 9 to use, it does 82 damage with a normal hit, 285 damage with a throw attack or 700 185 damage with a charge throw attack. That's quite a lot. And the damage distribution is mostly viral followed by slash with decent amounts of impact and puncture as well. The weapon is pretty slow with an attack speed of 0.667, it has decent 15% crit chance with a slightly above average 2.1 times crit multiplier and has a really good 30% status chance. And finally it comes with a dash polarity in the stun slot which matches both stances and it has a V and a D polarity as standard. Oh yes, and of course the weapon will also spawn maggots either when you throw it and it's flying through the air or when you're hitting enemies with it, though the maggots don't really do much, they just attach to enemies and stagger them. The build for the Pathesis is pretty straightforward, you either add a V or you reformat the D into a V, which you don't necessarily have to do because you can use Drifting Contact, which does have a depolarity, and you just, you know, use the bow that's been ruling melee weapons for like, what, two years now? Or something like that. So I'm running Astro Twilight here because I very much prefer it to Gleaming Talon, I don't like how you don't actually throw the glaive with Gleaming Talon, so I always run Astro Twilight on my glaives. Then we have Prime Pressure Point for the melee damage, Condition Overload, so we do even more damage as we proc status on the enemy, followed by Blood Rush, so we actually scale that crit chance as we build our combo counter. And then I'm running Strain Infection, which gives you more critical multiplier the more Helminth maggots you have. But if you don't have it, you can just replace it with Organ Shatter, which is probably even better, actually. I put it in there because... Well, you know, maggots and stuff. Then we have Berserker for the attack speed. You really need this because the attack speed otherwise is incredibly slow, so you want to get as much attack speed as possible. Then we have Drifting Contact for the combo duration and status chance. And finally, two dual stat mod for status and one elemental combo, which in this case is Viral. Now, while this does do a lot of damage, the ramp up is pretty severe because the attack speed is terrible and the base crit chance is pretty terrible as well. So it takes a while for you to ramp up the crit and proc Berserker. But once you get it going, you will chew through sortie level dudes no problem. Though it also kind of depends on which combo you're using and the order here is the button mash combo is straight up the worst, the block combo is not too bad, this one will actually get things done relatively quickly, but if you really want to get some big damage you want to use the pause combo which is just nuts. It's this combo right here. And this is what's gonna provide the majority of your damage, because while you have a lot of maggots and the maggots are cool, they're more of a support, right? They're gonna heal you via the strain mod set, they're gonna give you crit multiplier via the strain mod set, and they're gonna stagger enemies and do a little bit of damage. That's about it. But I still really like it because it's something different and it's fun. And by the way, I know people are going to ask, and no, it doesn't really matter what kind of setup you're running on Nidus or the Helmet Charger, just make sure you put on the Strain mods and you don't kill your power duration on Nidus so that the maggots from your ultimate will actually stay up for a while. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the Master of Maggots. So I thank you very much for watching, I hope you will have at least a little bit of fun with this. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.